Well, today's the 21st of January 2007. We're in the Hotel Forum in Warsaw. I'm with my good friend Tom Blatt, who escaped from uh, Sobibor Death Camp in, in October 1943. And we're talking about Gustav Wagner, who was the deputy commandant of the camp. Uh, Tom, what can you remember about uh, Gustav Wagner? When did you first see him? Gustav Wagner was the boss, Sadis, the boss mayor in Sobibor. Uh, Gustav Wagner. He uh, did belong to SS, of course, because not, not all, all of the Germans in Solingo belonged to the SS. He was an SS man, and he was, according to uh, the information I have, he was belonged to the Gestapo too. In Sobibor, not only the Jews, the prisoners, but also the staff, the Germans, were scared of him. Sometimes they were hiding when he. So the Germans to, were hiding from yeah, Wagner? Yeah, he had seen him, he just turned around and went between the barracks, not only him. Uh, I was beaten by him once, and uh, he ordered another assessment to beat me. And another assessment, although he was a higher rank, he listened to him. He was smart. Very alert, very intelligent, and uh, many of us are sure that uh, we will succeed in our revolt if he would be in that time of Luckily for us, he was on vacation. Did you plan the revolt uh, to coincide with his holiday, or no. this was just we coincidence? No, we didn't yeah. know that he would go for vacation, but we were lucky. First of all, he was tall, physically very strong. It would be difficult, even if he would lure them to some place to, to kill him, it would be difficult physically to kill him. He was tall, strong, and uh, we are sure all of us, I talked to other escapees, it would be very difficult and probably he wouldn't succeed with our escape if he would be present in Soviet. So did um, when you first when did you first see uh, Wagner? I mean did, was, did he appear on the on the uh, when you arrived? Uh, how did you first uh, know of him? No, Wagner I, I met actually the same day I arrived in Sobibor. Mm -hmm. uh, I remember on the after call when all the walking groups returned to the main uh, yard. Suddenly, the yard did become empty. What's happened? Wagner is coming to the sec uh, to the section where the prisoners did live, mm -hmm. and everyone escaped. Uh, he was unbelievable. I've seen him many times killing people. I remember the first time I have seen him killing was when a boy. Prisoner of Sobibor uh, uh, transported a blanket full of shoes from the dressing yard to the shoe storage place. Mm -hmm. And Wagner uh, stopped him and told him to open the blanket. And he, he, he found and a pair of shoe, canned food, no fish food, yes. a little, little box. And immediately he told him to come. And there was a, a, a dig for, for trash. Mm -hmm. I did. He showed a dish to go in and he shot him. And I remember I was surprised in probably Wagner too. Because he showed about a full load, because I remember him changing the, the magazine. Yeah. Uh, and the boy was still standing. He emptied an entire magazine. Nine, nine bullets. Nine rounds. Mm -hmm. The boy was still standing. And finally he sank down. And I'm, I'm sure I know why. Because he probably was afraid that he would get. Uh, uh, did you put him in fire while he's still alive? 
So he did for the last time he was standing, he should be killed. And uh, I, I think so, that I, that I'm right thinking that uh, he was trying for sure to be killed, he himself. So he actually stood, yeah. Wagner emptied, well, bang, he bang, bang. standing still. Yeah. And I, I was surprised that the partner did look at him and later he did change the magazine. Yeah. He shot again. But this time he already seen bad. Yeah. But he sank down, he didn't. Yeah. So he was Slowly, he, the knees bent and he did. Maybe Wagner didn't actually shoot him, he aimed to miss and it was only, uh, maybe no, he missed him. Yeah, he didn't, of course, I'm sure he didn't, he didn't try to. But can you tell me a little bit more about, uh, about Wagner? Any other things but which you Wagner, remember? <clears throat> but Wagner could just tell you this, that he was a terrible sadist, he was a murderer, but also he was the most intelligent uh, assess in camp. Very sharp, he, he was all over. And he didn't expect him in this place, and, Suddenly he will show up. He, he, he checked. When another German, another assessment went by a walking place, he just went by, checked if we are walking. But Wagner uh, had a different system. He actually stopped, he, he looked under the table, he sometimes he told a prisoner to empty the packets in case he has some hidden money from the uh, sorting stuff. And as I said before, that uh, we wouldn't succeed if he would be in camp in that time of the uh, when we revolted. He was stall. Was 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 Wagner corrupt like the others were? No. Wagner actually was not corrupt the way I and also my fellows who uh, escaped with me, we prisoners, uh, I'm sure he was not corrupt. So you couldn't, you couldn't have uh, told them they had a nice new jacket and no, new pair Wagner, of boots for him? No, he wouldn't dare to go to Wagner and try to lure him uh, to some places to be killed. First of all, uh, he wouldn't go. He yeah. would be immediately suspicious, and he probably would immediately discover what's happened. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. What, one thing that uh, uh, surprises me is that when, when the um, capo uh, Berliner is, is killed, mm -hmm. now obviously Berliner had, um, was, uh, as I understand it, was... was, was uh, he was a Wagner's. traitor. Yes, he was a traitor, but he was Wagner's man and not Frenzel's man. No, Is that correct? He, I can say that he was Wagner or Frenzel's. He simply probably met Wagner first before Frenzel, otherwise he would tell Frenzel. He would betray us to Frenzel. Yeah. But uh, he probably met Wagner first in the walking place. And he told him about uh, the plan to escape by the Capos. And Wagner immediately took him, executed them in the third camp, and made Berliner a uh, head couple. Yeah, but when Berliner was killed, I mean, how did, how did uh, no, Berliner, Wagner react? No, I asked Frenzel about this. Yeah. And uh, he told me that uh, he made a mistake, he didn't go to him, he went to, direct to Wagner. Yeah. Uh, uh, actually, Frenzel was responsible for Camp 1, for Lager 1, for those prisoners, yeah. not Wagner. Mm -hmm. If he would go first to Frenzel, probably we would, we would have the permission to kill him, but Frenzel would want to, he should be killed. So with Frenzel, with Frenzel permission, we killed him, actually. Yes. But how did Wagner react, or did uh, maybe Wagner? Wagner you, you, don't don't know, know, you don't know. You don't know. Yeah, that yeah. Circle, so I don't know how he if he didn't know at all about this, do you recall? Maybe was he did not. That prisoners, fellow prisoners, killed him. Yeah. So. Yeah. Was was uh, was Wagner um, around at the time of Berliner's death? Yeah. Yeah. 
because uh, at a point even when we were beating him, every yep. one of the couples had given 50 whips. We were forced at a point to let him go from the bench where he was laying. And we, we, we hold him by the hand and legs and we beat him. So we let him go to his, uh, where the couples were still. Yeah. It's a little bit. When, uh, uh, because Wagner did show up in the camp. Yeah. And later when he, when he left, he started to beat him again. He still survived the, the next day until he poisoned him with uh, poison. Yes, uh, it was the kasha, the yeah, uh, grits, kasha. I think, in English. Yeah. The higher cold in English? Grits. Oh, American. <laughs> okay. <laughs>